And we'll be back on Monday. In the meantime, Tucker Carlson signed off Friday on what we now know was his last show on Fox News. The network announcing it is severing ties with its most popular host without explanation in a statement Monday. Fox News Media and Tucker Carlson have agreed to part ways. Carlson anchored the network's highly rated 8 p.m. hour that topped 3 million viewers on an average night. During last night's show, the network acknowledging Carlson's exit. I wish Tucker the best. I'm great friends with Tucker and always will be. Carlson's departure comes less than a week after Fox News paid Dominion Voting Systems a $787.5 million settlement in a defamation lawsuit. Private texts and emails from Carlson emerged during the lawsuit, including messages from the star anchor criticizing Fox executives, disparaging former President Donald Trump, and expressing doubts about some on-air claims about Dominion that were made on Fox. Neither the network nor Carlson have revealed why he is leaving. The popular host is also being sued by former Fox producer Abby Grossberg, who accuses both Carlson and Fox News of creating a hostile work environment, speaking exclusively to NBC News. I reached a breaking point where the harassment was so bad that I called a crisis line. In a statement, the network called the claims unmeritorious and riddled with false allegations. In an equally shocking announcement Monday... Don Lemon and CNN have parted ways. The news coming out after Lemon's Monday morning show. So good morning, everyone. Welcome in. We're so CEO Chris Licht thanked Lemon, sending this memo to his employees. Don will forever be a part of the CNN family. Lemon took to Twitter with his reaction, saying he was stunned at the termination, writing in part, I would have thought that someone in management would have had the decency to tell me directly. CNN denies the claim that management didn't offer him an opportunity for a meeting. Lemon's departure just two months after his controversial comments about women, specifically presidential candidate and former U.N. ambassador Nikki Haley. Nikki Haley is in her prime. Sorry. When a woman is considered to be in her prime in her 20s and 30s and maybe 40. This morning, Lemon's former co-anchors reacting to the news. Don was a big part of this show. We wish him the best. NBC News parent company NBC Universal also dealing with a sudden exit. CEO Jeff Schell leaving his role after a company investigation into allegations of inappropriate conduct. In a statement, Schell writing, I had an inappropriate relationship with a woman in the company, which I deeply regret. I'm truly sorry. A lawyer for CNBC anchor Hadley Gamble says the investigation into Mr. Shell arose from a complaint by my client of sexual harassment and sex discrimination. Shell and Comcast have not commented on those allegations. This morning, the media landscape is shaken. Three influential voices are gone. CNN has not shared the reason for letting Don Lemon go. We've reached out to both Lemon and Tucker Carlson for comment, but have not heard back, guys. So let's let's go back to Tucker Carlson for a moment, yeah. Steph. In your report there, you indicated we don't know precisely why he was let go at Fox. Do we know yeah. who was responsible? Well, we have some insight. Multiple reports citing people familiar with the situation say that Lachlan Murdoch, who is the executive of Fox Corporation and obviously the son of Rupert sure. Murdoch, along with Suzanne Scott, who runs Fox News, that they made the decision on Friday. And according to The Wall Street Journal, Tucker Carlson was told 10 minutes before the announcement was, na- was made. NBC News has not independently confirmed those details. All right. All right. Stephanie Gass. Right. Stephanie. Thanks, Steph. Thank You're welcome. You. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.